Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Foxman Plays Planet Coaster Creative. This is our creative series. This is episode three. And you know what? I can be here as long as I want. And it feels good. You know, I don't, I don't want to say I get anxiety or, or stressed out too much. You know, I try to, try to, you know, do things to help me uh, keep calm, you know. That's why I have a lot, of, a lot of different hobbies and, th and stuff I like to do. It helps take your mind off that stuff. But when I had the episode yesterday that I was like, this has to be short. I got to get it out. It, like, <laughs> it bothers me. I get all like, <laughs> what a, you know, it's, it's just weird. It's, it's so much nicer when I, I know I, I can kind of have a little more freedom and, uh, and slow things down a bit. I don't like to rush stuff. And, uh, you know, that's fine. Everybody else, not everybody else, but everybody has their own way of doing things. Uh, maybe similar to, to myself or, or, uh, completely differently. You do what makes you comfortable. I hope, I hope that's what you do. But anyways, um, so in the short amount of time in the previous episode, I did a few things. We roughed out kind of a, a bit of a lake, not like a lake, kind of like a, a large pond or something like that I don't know um over in this area um it's gonna need some work I still kind of see a bit of an animal here you know with its head and all that but generally the way it's it's the form of it you know larger area here kind of a bit of a a little connecting point here I might even want to make it just a bit more uh narrow here at some point uh there will be a bridge over there I don't want to make it more narrow for the sake of the bridge or anything. Just the, the aesthetics, I think. I don't know. We'll see. And then there's this this large kind of area here that I, I contemplated maybe doing a, a bit of a beach. Maybe somewhere on this on this side we could do that, possibly. Um, or, uh, you know, even having a beach somewhere over here. I don't know. But they're definitely gonna want to have some coaster, roller coaster interaction with the water here, um, in the long term. So I think that'll be cool. As well, gotta tweak, do more boulders and all that kind of stuff over here. But to start, I want to spend some time with this pathway up here. I think this is gonna be. You might be like, "Oh, Michael, it's just a pathway. Just like build a staircase up." Yeah, like I could build a staircase in two seconds to get up here. But it would look ugly as shit. Um, to me, anyways. And I know theme parks are, are not always about, uh, you know, really there's not much nature at all in a theme park. At least in my experience going to Canada's Wonderland. Which is great for roller coasters and rides and all that stuff and $13 burgers that taste like mashed up cardboard and, and whatnot. But, um, uh... You know, it's usually kind of just, you know, they clear cut all the trees and all that stuff. It's it's relatively flat and there's a lot of brick and, and all that. Of course, there is some nature in, in there, but not to the extent that we're going to be doing in this, this creative world. Um, this one I, I want to try and make nice. I think at some point in the future, I don't know how to do it best to avoid confusion, but I would like to do another creative park, which is more actually that whole torturous scenario that I've mentioned uh, previously. And if you've been following Northern Lions stuff, he mentioned in one of his um, his episodes of uh, I was going to say Roller Coaster Tycoon Planet Coaster um, about it, and basically. To, to just go over it again quickly is you would come into the park there'd be one ride you could access from uh from the main you know pathway you would get on it it would torture the hell out of you you would get off and then the exit would only lead into the queue for the next ride and so on and so forth so basically, you you're forced to go on as soon as you go on the first ride, you're forced to go on every other ride before you can actually get out of the park. Um, so we might actually have to make the first ride kind of something people want to go on, right? And then the ones after that are just absolute hell, um, <laughs> and they have no choice but to go on them. I don't know if that would break the game or not. 
So I might even just do kind of a standalone uh, few episodes or something because I don't want to wait until this series is done to try that because I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this creative park here. Um, so who, who knows? May I might even like alternate. I don't know. It's just I've got so many different ideas for this game and I want to do them, but I, I don't want to make the series too sloppy and stuff. That's kind of why I at least have the the career series on the side and then we'll that'll transfer into a, a challenge series once we get get through all those uh, career s scenarios and stuff but anyways enough of that malarkey let's just focus on the here and the now uh which is quite beautiful one thing i am gonna do is uh set the the mood there we go said by set the mood i mean take the mood away it was actually quite quite nice uh light we had there you know morning light which is always nice and delicate now it's just like the sun is is up there it's helping us see so i started doing a bit of this sort of natural ish pathway this might end up being a different type of material at some point but i like the the markers it's kind of um just nice and it seems more like a construction sort of thing and then we can always change it later uh, one thing I have contemplated is this is a very steep section here, so I think I might try to replace that with stairs and um, see how that looks. I mean, because it'll be the same slope as this, so it's not like the stairs are going to be sticking out and whatnot. But then once we get up to a part like this, you know, it kind of levels off a bit so we don't really need stairs there. And then we're going to work up, I think I want to get some more stairs kind of coming up this way. And then uh, then we'll figure out we may, again, need a few more stairs here. But it's going to be okay because, again, it follows the, it'll follow the, the general slope of the land, so it's not going to stick out too much. So let me see about... Um, it was this one we've been using. Yeah, see. It's too uneven. Wait, okay, let's go back to the, the to the terraforming. And uh let's see. Let's just widen this a little bit and then we can always bring it back out. Again, we're gonna we're gonna fix all this stuff. This is just making the the initial, or not the initial, but making this shit easier to expand. Ah, shoot. No, we want it kind of with that one. There we go. We go back to our path. So that was that's weird. I think what I need to do is undo that and then. Just widen that a little bit. Something funky's going on there. Alright, no, no, no. No, no. Terrain is too uneven. Okay, well. I have no idea why this is being a big old prick. Let's see if maybe we can kind of start from here. Huh. It's too uneven. Well, let me actually see about putting the stairs in. We need... This is going to be really tricky. Okay. No, no, no. I want you to go away. Alright. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. I think what I need to do is push this stuff down a fair bit more actually first and we can always pull it back up after see that's that's too high you know I want this kind of right just a bit below that actually or at the same level so this is gonna be kind of finicky
Okay, now we go terrain. Push this down. Wow, we don't really need to push it down like that, but. Or that far. But I just need to make sure I've got room to work with. Hmm. Oh, snap dizzle. So that's that's kind of like perfect. The problem is we have to get it straight. Not straight, but I want it going this direction. So, let's go back to this. Let's bring this back. Let's just see here. Kind of like that. Okay. Now, angle snap on. And 90 degrees. So look at that's actually pretty much going straight. Straight enough for moi. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. So now, oh, that's gorgeous. That's, we'll place that one. Let's exit out. And then uh, undo some of this for a second. Actually. Let's see. I think as is. Hmm. Let's see about this. I think we might have to pull this back a bit. And pull this up a touch. If we want to do the natural kind of pathway like this. And then maybe we'll end up doing the one that has the rails on the side. I don't know. I don't know. So let's pull this up a touch. Oh, so actually with the stair, it needs to go down a bit. Maybe that's why it's doing that weird funky stuff. All right, well, let's get it down. Actually, you know what? We do to f this foundation. Let's see how that looks. All right. Okay, go back to path. Intersecting terrain. All right, so let's get... Uh, it's kind of finicky. Get rid of that section first, then do path, terrain. Maybe push this in a little bit though. Go back to this guy. I'll go back to the terrain. Pull this guy. Huh. It is a little finicky. Just take this one step at a time. Maybe, yeah, maybe we... Clearly, for the landing, it has to be like that. We just need a landing like that. Um, when it connects to the stairs. We're obviously going to have to fix this end up, too. We'll get to it. But now, if I start going back to the terrain... And uh, pull pull these sides in. Can we not pull this? This is going to be a bit of a problem. Let's just pull as much of that up as we can. I have to get, get in there. And you know what I think I might I might do though is uh, the the boulders and the rocks and stuff to the rescue. So let's pull this in as close as we can, all along the side, so we kind of know. 
the limits. And let's try a little bit of the scenery. Again, I'm not going to I'm not going to dress up the whole sides, but let's just get a start just to see how it's going to work. We want to do the uh, alpine rocks, yeah. So, we've got some rotation. Actually, pull it back this way a little bit. I want to do sort of flat-ish surfaces. And the cool thing here though, we could maybe make it so you don't even see the rail. So it makes it look a little more natural. Let me rotate it a bit more. Maybe even get... You can see this, uh, you know, just beside the stairs right here. This little bit of wood. I, mm, I might want to cover that up. Actually, let's uh, let's look at the different types of stairs here, the different pathways. If we could get something that looks even more, a little more natural, like the grayish rock. So we've got the flagstone, rustic gravel. Oh, well, gravel doesn't make as much sense for uh, uh, stairs. That's kind of stony on that side. That might work. Which one is this? Is that the cobblestone? Let's look at the... F oh, wait, that's the... The flagstone? Oh, okay. They're pretty much the same, actually. This is the... Uh, the shells. Small square stones with wooden trim. What's this one like? Yeah, I kind of want a, a gray... Color. That one's reddish. That one's too slick. That one's too sandy colored. Black path. The gravel. Let's go with this one. So this is the uh, the colorful cobblestone. Oh shoot. There we go. Undo that for now. Now, okay, undo. Ah! Okay, wait, exit out of it. There we go, path. Oh, my bad. Oh, but we don't want that one like that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be kind of... I don't, want that. I don't really want that cobble. And if we do it like that, that doesn't look right. See? Either way, I wish it didn't have to put... You know, why can't it just stay grass? So maybe what we do... I don't mind the cobble though because it look it it still retains a lot of that natural feel right it's like we took any to make this stairwell and all that stuff we took the rocks that we took out and we put them back in just in a bit more of a, a natural fashion this is flagstone which theoretically would do the same trick but the the stone itself looks like it's from a different area so I think we do have to just go with with this and I don't think it would be too bad to have it all the all this way. But I still want to put boulders and such on the sides. So, we're going to have to, you know, lower the, take this out, lower the terrain. I will do that after. I think that's not such a bad idea though. Let me take a sip of my drink. That hits the spot. Okay. So now, um, yeah, let's put in a few more rocks, I guess. And we'll, we'll alter the terrain on the other side of the rocks as well after. We might even put a few more rocks on this side just to kind of ease the transition a little bit. Um, probably paint. I don't know. I don't necessarily like the grass 
up here. But we could, uh, you know, this isn't so steep that you wouldn't see trees and such um, on, uh, on a slope of that. Of that, uh, what's, what's the term I'm looking for? Steepness? I don't know. Steepness? Steep tea? What do you put in your tea? I, 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 I like just, just the tea. When I was a kid, you know, one sugar and one milk kind of thing. But I, as a kid, I would only have tea when I was sick, pretty much. For the most part. Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, I like... You know, rails are there for safety. In the real world, this would not fly. But... I think this is gonna... It's gonna overall make it look a little more natural. Like, it's compromised. We give them actual proper stairs, but they don't get the rail. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fun little compromise. Let's see if we can get... Uh, we'll get some smaller ones in here as well. And, uh, and we'll get it going. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll get some more stuff kind of you know, back here, or so on and so forth, to, to, to ease the transition. You gotta have faith, but I think this will be okay. I think so. Can sneak this guy kind of just like that. Oh, it looks you wouldn't even know that's that that's two rocks. Okay, well we want some bigger ones though. And we can rotate in in all axes. But for the sake of me being a little quicker, a lot of the times I'm just gonna just rotate it in the one because I can press Z and it's nice and quick. Although now I kind of want to rotate it this way a little with the shape of that rock. Actually, let's go back to this guy. I want to move him again. Just move them down a little bit more. Shoot. I might need to rotate them a little bit more. Pull them out. Yeah, that should be good. And the cool thing too, um, after I can, uh, you know, have some some of the the low laying plants and such that'll sit on top of a few of these rocks, and we can even have some vines that look like, you know, maybe we'll turn them upside down so it's almost like they're dangling down over the rock and stuff too, so it's not kind of just cold, barren, plain rock. We'll we'll give it some life. That's uh. That's that's wrapping around it and stuff. I really like. I love vines. I think vines are pretty cool. Uh, you know, sometimes they can be invasive in the real world, but um, just how quickly they grow and they spread out and such, I, I love just watching them grow. It's like a lot of plants and trees and stuff, you're like, oh, I gotta wait 20 years to, like, see it grow. And even you don't see it grow, right? It grows, a, you know, depending on the trees, a couple feet a year, and you're like, oh, well, that's nice. But with vines, over a week, you can be like, you can be like oh, damn, you grew, like, two feet over a week. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes, scenery. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the alpines. Just get a few more in. Just so we kind of know how, how we're going to do this. And then I'm going to... I want to finish the actual path before... Before I, I do uh, complete this section. Just in terms of, you know, making it look the way I've been doing. That's a good one, actually. Let's rotate this a bit. Maybe plunk one in on this side. Just to hide that little section there. See a little, f a little speck down there that didn't get covered up, but you know what? That'll be our little secret. <laughs> Bob Ross in it. Just Bob Ross things. Bob Doe. 
popped up. Oh, I like the layering on those two rocks, actually. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So that's what I love about this, this game, that I can get to this level of detail and intimacy. It's a stairwell, right? Certain people that are playing it, and I'm not trashing, but you could just be like, fucking stare, point A, point B, go, right? And the, uh, you know, the visitors won't, won't care anymore or any less, typically. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun creating something nice that I, I like looking at, and I, I feel, I feel good about it. Like, already, we're not even done, like, try to ignore these rails. And look at look at this these rocks. You're coming up, and it's just it feels so much more natural and, and powerful. You're like nature, man. Look at the size of these rocks. I I wish I had an Australian accent right now. I could be like, crikey, look at the size of these rocks, mate. All right, so we're gonna do. Let's yeah, let's stop this for a little bit. Let's figure out how we're gonna get this going. I might actually do another stair here. You know, a bit of a, f a flat path, stair up that way, flat, and then probably a couple stairs up this way. And then either more stairs, or actually if we can maybe flatten the gradient a bit, we could just do a path. But I'll probably end up doing stairs and just keep doing the same, the same design. So, let's go back to our pathway. Remove this for now. Plunk this guy. Oopsies. Actually, yeah, 45. What's the length? So, we could have him curve 45 like that. I gotcha, I gotcha. So, let's flatten to foundation back a bit more. So, we have room. Pull that back, just in case. Go back to our pathway. Although it does, I don't. It doesn't need to be 45. Oops. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot about this. And thank you very much. This was. Uh, oh, who did it? Who did it? In the comments, if you press spacebar, it uh, while on a pathway, you can see it switches back and forth from the the angle snap. Just a very like when you're in the in the mode and and you know having to come back and forth to switch this stuff is can be kind of annoying. So very very useful tip trick shortcut. Call it what you will. Now this is where oh no hey buddy come on man. There we go. See, it stops there. I I want it to go a little bit more before it goes up the stairs. All right. Well, let's just undo this almost completely. Go back to our terrain. Push it back a little bit more. I'd like one more section of path before we have to have to go up. There we go. That'll work. Okay, go back to the terrain tool here. We will uh, flatten to this foundation as close as we can get. Okay. Yep, that's, that's all she wrote. Ooh, you don't like that very much, do you? Maybe we just need to bring it... I think we need to bring it down some. Yeah, see... Uh, okay. Terrain. Let's push it down. This uh, Actually, I don't want this to be perfectly flat. Uh, it, can, it can be a little sloped. That's fine. But let's see if we can at least get this guy in. Won't let me curve so much. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, it does the rail there too. But does it have to be that long? Oh shit. I was trying to flatten it. I wish you could flatten it to the surface of uh, the pathway, but that doesn't seem to be the case. All right, well, let's bring you guys back up for a second here. And then we will just kind of eyeball it, I guess, a little bit. Let's reduce the intensity. Does that look about right? Maybe. I think we're just going to have to remove this path. It's it's clearly getting in the way. Alright, and then remove this path. See how this works. And push this back a bit, though. So it's... Oopsies. That was pull. Although, let's, let's see how the path works... Now, oh, perfect. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise this up a little bit just so we have um, kind of a bit of a, a slope up. You know, I don't want it to look too, you know, too perfect and too flat. So we'll raise this up and then we'll, we'll soften things. Smooth it out a little. And we'll see how that slope works. Flatten the surface. Actually. There we go. Although that's kind of crooked that way. Ah, shoot. Well, let's see how it looks with the path on it. Why is it do I don't want the rail though, man. It's just is it cuz it's sloped like that? It shouldn't do that. Oh, I see. I see. That's my bad. I could have actually turned the rail off on that, I think. So let's say railing on elevated I guess we can just, I don't necessarily mind the curb. Well, let's just see how this looks. I guess it, it's, okay, so that's a bit too steep on the right side. Let's see here. Smooth it out a little more. Okay, okay. See, now it's not... I kind of like the curb, to be honest. Even though we're going to be hiding most of it, I just it feels nicer when I'm <clears throat> when I'm making this stuff. So, oops, wrong button. Hey, hey, you go away, Mister Pathway. Get rid of you. We'll keep the curb. Definitely get rid of the railing. That does look a little odd with the kink there. Maybe for these sections it is better just to go flat and then do the stairs. 
if it's just small sections them being kind of perfectly flat won't seem too unnatural because you know I don't know I don't know okay wait no 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 I want to undo you there we go there, so we can get rid of the rail there now. Nice. And what I'll do is just flatten to this foundation now over here. Make everything nice and flat. And then we'll figure out how we're going to do the stairs up this way. Well, I mean, I generally know how. <sighs> hmm. Let me see. Boom, 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 boom. I might want to start these stairs before I connect too much of this. So let's push this shit down. And then it's going to connect up here somewhere. Like, there's got to be a flat, so then we can turn and then do more stairs up that way. So let's pick the, f let's pick the flat point. Put the foundation. Something like that, maybe. We might... I don't know how much room we're actually going to have for the stairs, though. So we might have to... To lower it a little bit more, to be honest. And then let's just... Actually, push all this stuff in for now. Bit by bit. You know, it's hard to do this stuff completely the way you want it or right the first time anyway. So don't 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 fight the urge to, to have to, to do some stuff and redo some stuff. That might end up giving you better ideas in the end as well. I think. Okay, so now we'll go back to you, curve you in like about that, just freeform it, and then maybe, wait, shoot, terrain, flatten the foundation, there we go. Bring you around like so. And now let's see if we can. So, oh, this one's going to be interesting. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. Hey. No, 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 no. Let me put something here. Okay, I guess we're going to have to make this wider. A larger larger area that's okay we can we can work with that set an anchor point maybe we want it kind of far back if we can get it just so we have more room down there and then terrain push all that shit down Ugh. I don't like that little bit there. Ah, I keep pressing X too many times. But you know what? At least we've got a bit of the stair, and then we can... Undo this, and undo this part. Oh, maybe we do just bring, we have to bring it around that way a little bit more. Or you know what? Hey, 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 hey. We could go like that. We'll cut into a bit of it, bring it out, and then it doesn't have to curve around quite so much. That'll be okay. Yeah, boy. Okay, push all this back a little bit more. Actually, just 
Make it easier if we did this. Having an overhang, you know what? I am not opposed to over here, you know, having a bit of an overhang over these 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 stairs. I think that's going to look pretty cool. Here, I'm going to kind of maybe keep it a bit more open. But yeah, once we get start getting to this stuff, you can see this rock here. And uh, obviously these ones. Having the cliff face or even a bit of an overhang. I think that would look smashing. But for now, let's just give ourselves a, a, a decent workspace. Actually, I guess we could... That would be... I don't want that to be a ramp, though. Oopsies, my bad. Hey. Now, I... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still, you know... Getting used to this business. Hmm. That doesn't feel right. So I could do it there. Although we'd have to cut that back a little bit. And then we'd have to do a bit of a sharper turn here. And that doesn't quite feel right either. Well... always pull these stairs back a bit that's gonna be finicky though how much do I need to move it all right oops I need to uh, ah terraform this just a little to get the edge Proper. Okay. Back to path. Get as close as possible. I don't know if that's... Uh... Gonna work or not, but... Yeah, we're, we'll fix that, but... Pull that up some. Okay. Why is this jackass being like this? Okay, get rid of you. Good grief. They're too close, so they're they're trying to, to interact together. Okay. Back to this. Why? Ha! You know what? Maybe I will just keep it like this and uh, curve it around a little. Give it a nice, gentle slope. Or not slope, but curve. You know, I would have liked it to kind of come around a bit more. This is sort of a sharp, but I mean, they're just walking. It's not the end of the world. And then now what I have to do is raise the terrain a little. I think back here, it seems like there's, well, they won't let me raise it. Well, we'll get more rocks and, and bushes and stuff. Yeah, I definitely want this. I don't want to feel too claustrophobic, but I just want people to be like, "Oh man, nature. Nature does what it, what's it what it wants." So, once we get it out up so far, we can actually do a you know, that's extreme and it's not going to look like that, but we can do a a, a few overhangs. gonna kind of leave it sort of like that for now just to give myself a reminder and then we can do the same thing maybe over here
kind of have a bit of an overhang. Because I think that idea is pretty fun. Yeah, we'll figure out the rest later. But, and then, we, you know, it's going to be great. We can get some nice sort of uh, ambient lighting throughout this pathway. Uh, again, not to look too manufactured and stuff. But when they're walking up here at nighttime, it'll be a nice soft glow. And uh, I think it'll actually be kind of quite pretty. Yeah, how far can we bring that in? Both sides. Bam, I'm going to take another sip of my drink. Alright, I mean, this is, uh, it's coming along slowly, but I think you guys can kind of sort of see what I'm trying to achieve here. This is going to be crazy. I'm going to spend an hour just like working on one stairwell. Hey, that's what you pay for. And you, you paid zero bucks to be here. Actually, technically, I guess you pay, you pay for your internet, right? Unless somebody else pays for your internet. But other than that, you know, but we're just here to chill, to have a good time. We're here for a good time. Not a long time. Okay, so now these stairs. Oh, don't do me like that, dog. I guess we can uh, let's curve it like that. Shoot, I'm gonna have to to redo that. Terrain, flatten the foundation here. Just a little more room. Start these stairs off right, you know. And then we'll go like that. Just a slight angle. It's not going to be perfectly 45, but we do not necessarily want that. So, or I don't. Maybe you guys do, but hey. You can, uh, maybe if you have the game, you can you can go and do it as you want. That's the beauty of it. Take, st steal a few ideas, borrow a few ideas from me. Maybe give me a few ideas of what you've done. Alright. I guess uh, we just go back to the terrain here. And we will push this stuff down. Enough so it doesn't clip through our stairs. We'll just do a, a couple segments at a time. This guy we don't need at all though. Oopsies. Push it. Push it real good. Salt and pepper, salt and pepper. This nice dude. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. And then I think actually. Let's pull this back. Pull this one back too. Maybe here we have a bit of a, a straightaway, and then we have a couple more stairs. Because if we kept going up, the stairs would stick out more and more and more. At this point, the slope, they don't match. It kind of eases off a, a little bit more. Here, it's great, though. It, it You know, the way it uh, generally stays stays within these, uh, these two natural land walls. So, again, let's pull some terrain up here flatten it out see see how how we like it tweak it do it as necessary all right Should push that back a little all right so it's a bit high a bit high you could see a little clip in there so we'll push it down a bit Oh, oh, what am I doing? And then go go like so. I think that might do the trick. That might be the one. No? <gasps> okay. I'll push it down some more. There you go. There. There's the one. So now I'm actually going to kind of curve it to the right a bit and then we'll have the stairs going. But this is where, you know, I need to figure out, I, th I want the stairs going, or the path in general, going this way and this way. So they can, they can make it to either side. 
Although, maybe I say screw that. And what we do, the path comes this way and we have a nice little tunnel here. Uh, maybe just a rock tunnel or at some point we could even do, use some, you know, some of the assets and stuff to make, I don't know what kind of tunnels we'll have. I haven't really looked at them, but, you know, kind of a nice, nice natural, you know, wooded tunnel. It just makes it look like a little man-made, but uh, not, not too, too, uh, too artificial, if you catch my drift. It's like a carpenter came in and did some stuff. It wasn't made in a, a freaking laboratory or, or what have you. All right. So let me see here. I guess we'll fiddle with this terrain a little bit more. Give ourselves a little more room. Figure out what's going on. And that's it. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then stairs up. See how that looks. Not too shabby, to be honest. Kind of like that. But then, do we. Okay. Exit that, and then I think we kind of try and flatten this out a little bit. This is pretty close to that level, so we shouldn't need to do too much. But let's go back to this area here and, and just pull stuff in as much as we can for now. There you go. Yeah, pull, pull all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. This is definitely going to be a, a time-lapse uh, episode. Uh, or, not this one, but but the the one where I do all this rock stuff at some point. Uh, we'll do time-lapse, and I'll, I'll talk about my day or something like that. Uh, I should also go in and fix... And rem maybe just, yeah, remove these rails. Although, you know what? The rails, I kind of like them here because it's a good guide for how far I need to bring these rocks out. Although I guess we're doing, you know, we could just leave it with the curbs, but yeah, it's fine. But definitely this part right here. Um, I'll probably want to remove. But I like this, right? You see, it's still rough, but it kind of comes up, gives you a little bit of a break. I think we can open this area up a bit more. Maybe put a couple benches and stuff. Have a couple trash cans. Nothing too crazy and, and make it look nice. But it'll give people can can kind of sit and have a break. And they come up a bit more. Again, we'll do a similar thing. Have a few, few benches and such. And then they come up here. They can, you know, and maybe this area. This area might be a decent one to, to add, just put some railings and such. And a few benches so they can sit out here and, and, and look at the rest of the park from there. Uh, it's a nice vantage point. And then uh, then they then they keep going up and then they get to kind of more of a final destination up here. Have a few shops and such. We'll do the tunnel maybe. I don't know how it'll work. Can maybe come out this way. Oh, but then there's this. Uh, we'll have to do it at a different angle. Maybe it'll just go straight across like that. Although, in that case, we might have to lower or raise. I'd probably lower or raise this one since uh, it's not yet dependent on the stairs and all that kind of stuff. But this is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Alright, let's like, at least freaking finish this business up. Um, but I think, you know, not to delay anymore. Uh... I think it is important to stop and, and, and step back even before you're finished stuff. Right? It's easier to, to for me to do something right now before we're finished than to than to do this and do that and then be like, oh crap, now I've got a I, I've got a better idea. Let me like redo half of this, right? I'm generally happy with how this is going. I'm already getting ideas, you know, the overhang here and the benches and the, and all that stuff and, and we'll play around with the lighting and the and the boulders and the bushes, but this is going to be a very nice, 
area, if I do say so myself. I hope some of you agree. You don't have to agree, but if you do agree, I mean, that's cool. Let's, let's connect over pathways in a video game. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I think it's it's a good way. This really helps me clear my mind a lot. Not worry about the, the how the rest of the world, there's awful stuff going on out there, but there's also great stuff. I think we should try and focus on the great things a little bit more in life. Um, so maybe what I'll do here, flatten to this foundation right around here. Just a little bit. Cut this back a bit, and we'll have to play around with this. This is stuff we haven't smoothed out, right? You remember, originally when we were doing this, it, it kind of made a bit of a pixely sort of thing, which kind of looks cool, but at the same time, it's it's not really natural looking um, in terms of how this type of rock, I guess, would form in nature. You know, I'd prefer it to look, you know, you see all these mountains and stuff back there. They don't look too square, if you know what I mean. But anyways, let's go back to this path. So we gotta lower it just a touch, just a touch. So let's do that. Flatten to that foundation. I think that should do the trick. I hope it does. I hope. All right, so now that we know it does the trick there, we don't have to flatten all the rest of this but at least get a bit of a a gradient for now but I, I really do like like the idea of having these plateaus and stuff can you have more than one plateau or is plateau just like the top of a mountain I don't I don't know how that works I ain't Rick boy or Rick boy Rick Flair the nature boy woo or am I uh pull yeah we can't pull that up Again, it's a great thing about the boulders and the shrubs and all that stuff. We'll be able to hide, hide all this and make it look a little more natural. So now we go back to our path. And, uh, yeah, you know, we might even keep this area. Again, put a few benches or something there. I don't know. Let's, uh. How do I want to do this? You know, maybe what we do is we kind of have the pathway. We'll follow the edge here. And we do have the rail on this pathway. Or not. I'd almost prefer to do my own kind of manual rail. Put a few bushes, then you have the path. Low bushes, not, not tall ones. And then we have a, you know, a building or two up here. Maybe information booth. Although that's something... Well, you know what? We need a few information booths all throughout the park. You don't want it necessarily just at the entrance. I think it's important to have one at the entrance, but... You know. Let's for now, let's just... Uh, I am going to angle snap this. Just to... Get something. Oh, shoot. Alright, so now... Actually, I guess we will do... Some lowering of this malarkey. It'll make it easier to place the buildings and the and the paths and all that. There we go. Yeah, start with the edge, and then we'll work our way in. Shadow. I suppose we could change the time of the day so that the sun is in a different position and, and, and hopefully actually lighting this up. But you know what? I can see well enough. Oh, we got a bird shadow. I love that. I love seeing the bird shadows. I don't know why. I just do. Alright. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous George. Georgie? Your mashed potatoes are going to get cold. That was my attempt at George Costanza's mom. Pretty bad attempt, I might add. I'm just placing this just... I, this is not the way the path is going to go. I just feel like 
placing it to look like we've actually done uh, some some progress. And again, we can use this kind of as anchor point maybe for the grid. Uh, a grid. See, we can s select a grid. Obstructed my at Oh, right. So you see what I'm talking about? Boom, 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 boom. Having a grid. Which is nice. So if you look, I mean, I might get, uh, let's get back here again. Like I said, it's important to step back, but from this angle, we don't even have the boulders and such in, but you can't, you can't even see the stairs. I think we'll want to have some kind of visual cues and stuff over here. Like, Hey, there's some stairs or a pathway you can go up there, but look, other than that bit there, you can't you can't see anything except for this bit there as well. And this one isn't even... We haven't even attempted to do that. I, you know, I, I feel I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Sometimes I get an idea and I have it in my head and then you're, you're thinking, Oh man, but is it really going to look that good? And even this wasn't quite the idea, you know, I, I just had the idea of a pathway going up, but I think the stairs and having the multiple levels, they make it a lot more interesting, right? I don't know if you guys agree or not, but one thing I can agree with is uh, taking another sip of my drink. There we go. That's the stuff dreams are made of. Um... <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, maybe maybe let's work on the the tunnel a little bit too because that's going to be something if we are placing buildings and and other assets up here, we're going to kind of want to build them around the tunnel a little bit, right? I'd hate to place stuff and then be like, "Oh yeah, the tunnel's got to go here. Oh, now we've got to move this building and that building." Just trying to give myself a bit of an easier time later on right i think that's something important to do in your life is you're like it's like okay i can do the dishes now or i can just wait till tomorrow and i might have more energy to do them tomorrow or this or that right and maybe you will maybe you'll be in a better place and you'll feel like doing them more tomorrow but i think we screw ourselves over a lot by putting stuff off a day because then you get to the next day and you're like oh man i, I feel the same or maybe i feel worse but I like now I really need to do the dishes and then you're in kind of like a bad mood or something like that. So I think it's important as humans to train ourselves to, to try and get some things done. You know, if we can, maybe we don't quite feel like doing it, but man, then you get to sit back and relax the next day. You're like, I don't have to worry about this. I can just go play Planet Coaster. I can play Hearthstone or, or Diablo 2 or... Uh, you know, whatever, guilt-free. And that's a nice feeling. That's a nice feeling. I'm trying to do that more and more in my life. Um, anyways. <laughs> uh, we can do tunneling and such, like auto-tunneling. Actually, can you do that with pathways? I've never, never... Path supports. Curved slopes. Wait, what are curved slopes? Oh! That's interesting. I didn't... Didn't know you could, uh... Do that. Oops, hey, you could... No. Go away. Um... Now, I know when you're building the roller coasters, you can have it do auto-tunneling. I wasn't sure if that was something... You could do with the pathway. Change the camera. It's fine though. I don't mind making a tunnel myself. In fact, sometimes I prefer it. The it's just we gotta get it. Uh, let's get a bird's eye view. Gotta go. How do we want? It? I kind of yeah. I kind of wanted to come out a little bit central on this side. So I feel like if we just push this in right. We'll 
Wait, what's scenery lock? What the heck is scenery lock? I don't know, man. It's not on by default, though. But who cares? I'm just going to keep it in this position. There we go. There we go. Just keep it like that. Yo, these are pretty much the same. Almost identical, if not identical. Oopsies. Hey, no, 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 no. Okay, surface lock. Whatever. Oh, shoot. I was doing the wrong thing. Wait. No, I was doing the... Oh, this wasn't flat before. That's why I was like, why is this getting deformed? Well, I think we do kind of want this to be flat here then. Yeah. Okay. And then we're obviously going to fix the tunnel. I want it to be relatively flat. So then, why can't I see? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. It's like, why can't I see through the other side? Did we, we went down a fair bit, actually. Oh, we're going to get stuck in this freaking mountain. It's going to glitch out. I am actually stuck. There we go. Thank you, camera. Thank you. Let's just see here. If I do... Flatten the foundation throughout here. This is going to have to be, you know, we're going to do some nice lighting in here and, and all that stuff. Okay. You know what? Actually, though, this, we don't necessarily need to raise this. We can just do a nice... Stairway down, perhaps? What do you think? Eh. No, stairs. I don't want the stairs. I want... I want it, like, perfectly flat. Not Well, not perfect. You know, same level, same level. And that's fine. Well, yeah, this this will raise up fine. So let's, uh... Just increase the size of this to make this okay you know what I'm gonna undo that reduce the size a bit because <laughs> I generally like the uh, the way the edges are on this and I don't want to change them too much so we'll get we'll take it 80% of the way and then we'll we'll make a smaller tool in and get the rest There you go. I love, can you, you guys can hear that sound, right? You should be able to. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I think I'll have to undo it, but that give me some cool ideas. You know what? You could have a roller coaster kind of going through here or something. Um, so I might... I'm going to remove it for now. But I'm going to remember that general idea for later. Let's get it roughly. Again, we don't need to do 100% the way it was down here. So satisfying. It's like, what are the satisfying things? What's the most satisfying thing to you? That's going to be like my question of the episode. I might not have a question every episode. But you know when you, you get like a new electronic and the screen, they got the screen protectors and, and such. And you get to peel that layer of plastic off. So satisfying, right? Oh, man. Or... You get some clothes that come right out of the the laundry, the dryer, and they're still like just that nice, toasty, very dry, but very warm. Especially getting a nice pair of 
pants and you get your hoodie on you know get get your sweatpants you get you get your hoodie you just get all oh so cozy and so nice i love that feeling i love it that's very satisfying maybe not quite it's a different sort of satisfying it's just comfortable okay i'm pulling this stuff out we're gonna we're gonna push it back a little bit it's easier to push it back. There we go. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Michael A. L. Fox, the mouth man, the fox man, playing this game, which has terraforming. Who'd have thunk that he would have spent so much time terraforming, eh? <laughs> For those of you that have, you know, been around the block with me a couple times in, in video games, I think you're kind of expected you would have put you could have put money on mo money on it and you would have you would have made money i guess the odds of me not spending time in terraforming wouldn't have been very good but uh that's not quite doing what i wanted to do i don't know we'll come back to it later at least at least we got the volumetrically is generally there i don't yeah i don't i want to clean up and, and texture and, and do all that sort of stuff but that's for another episode although this is I like how it's kind of created more cliff like here and then it slopes down a bit I might keep that I don't know but yeah a lot of this a lot of this mountain again I like the general shape of it and the the layout but every inch of it is probably going to get altered at some point just the change the rock face the angles and all that kind of stuff so now we've got a tunnel oopsies the camera I think I might make it a little bit bigger just so we have more room to work with at least to start with right until we really figure out what we're doing. I'm going to look in a second. We'll look through some of the assets. See what's there. If there's actual tunnel segments and stuff. I don't. I honestly don't know. I've, I've never really looked for pre-made tunnel kind of stuff. We could make our own too, right? Just piece together a lot of stuff. And, and that might be the, the way we go. It's the way she goes, boys. The way she goes. But we got to figure out our plan of attack. Plan of construction. You know? Alright. Or, hey! He, honestly? If we do a little more careful terraforming in here, I actually get some... Just put some lighting in here. Uh, at least temporary lighting, just so I can see what I'm, I'm doing. And then put in more proper lighting at the end. We could just say, you know what? Let's leave this as a natural rock cut. I don't want to mess with um, nature too much, like I've been saying, so this is a good opportunity to maybe exercise that. But, you know what? Let's just have a look. So, path extras, we're definitely not looking there, but we will be getting some stuff going on at some point. Western rusti Rustic Bin. Sci-Fi Bin. Park Bin. Barrel Bin. Palace. So this is kind of like the pirates palace bin. That's the royalty theme. That's of sci-fi. Or sorry, this is sci-fi. This is just your, I guess, more of a natural park bin. I for this park, I'm probably gonna go with the western. Well, western is in you know western movies and stuff, but this is kind of nice though. You know, wait, it's got a. There we go. The texture's updating. Yeah, see, that doesn't really fit so well. Ooh, Palestine, that's kind of cool. This one's not that bad. It, it, it come down to this one, not the sci-fi, or, you know, the... Yeah, or this one. See, that when you look at that, you're not necessarily like, oh, that is a western bin. It just kind of looks like a nice, natural-ish bin. Uh, what do we got? Nature, I mean, these are all the rocks. Oh, wait, I gotta go, like... We got trees, wall climbs... So yeah, at some point we're gonna. Well, I gotta rotate this. 
it's flat. But we're going to get vines and stuff up the sides of these. Not all the way up, just, you know, a few feet kind of thing. Just to mix it up, but we've, we've got a few different kinds. These ones would be good over rails or something. Or, no, it's more like into water. Like they're, it looks like a water sort of vine to me. Yeah, there's seaweed. Well, it is called seaweed. There you go. Mission accomplished. Oh, this, these ones are cool though. With the, the, the pretty flowers. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. So we got rocks there. This stuff is, you know, this will... I was going to say not be used in this park, but we might have, like I was talking about earlier, pockets of of different areas. So we might have more of a, a man, manicured, man, mans, manscaped, whatever, uh, landscaped section with this kind of stuff. But typically, you're not going to see it here because this is just too, too unnatural, right? It's good to know it's there. Uh, special effects... You know, we've got sound, we've got explosions and such. Let's just see what this looks like. I'm not I'm not putting this here, but hey, go go away. I know the basic controls. Let's just hit play. There you go. Do it again. Boom. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And, you know, there's, there's lots of different ones. There's water, you know, falling dry, ice small, medium large, explosions, engine thruster small, electric rod, flamethrower burst, fountain splash. They've got it all, man. Steam jet large. There's water jets. Water sprout. Yeah, I'd like to have some fountains and such here. What are these? Boiling medium. I think that's like a, a plate. Whoa, that's cool. That's pretty nifty. Awesome. Confetti, metallic. Blowing dirt. Oh. I wonder if we can change the color of the dirt, though. That'd be very nice to have it more maybe of a grayish. And then uh, there's the sound and all that good stuff. This far splash line. Ah, okay. Art shapes. I mean, this is where we can you, we can recolor this too, right? Like if we place this, go into it, we can say, you know, you're blue or you're this or you're that. We can even, you know, any color. The hexadecimal, if you know what you want. Boom. Obviously, we can. Snap stuff together. Align to surface. is a very important tool to learn about early on. If you want to make your own structures and stuff. Or art, I guess. Uh, which we may at some point in this park. I do not know. So it's not path extras. It's props. I don't imagine we're going to find a tunnel in props. But, you know, we got all this stuff. People people love this stuff. Dynamite crate. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to pause it again. And I'm also going to take a sip of my drink again. Damn, son. Wait, how much is that? 40 bucks? 40 bucks for this. In what world do we live in? You can buy a locomotive engine for 40 bucks. What's this? My foot. That's like the, the mechanical mumbo jumbo, I guess. I don't know. Where'd this barrel go? I like, I like this, though. That's nice and pleasant. Nice little courtyard kind of area. Monsieur Fritz. That's French for Mr. Fries. <laughs> Pretty much. Fritz are, are fries in, in French. That's nice, though, actually. I like that. It's a little more classy. That's the ground sign. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. This, who, who knows what, what this is? Mooring bit. 
Something to do with drilling? Or I, I don't know. Whoa. Nice little castle-like tent royalty. This I like. Or not like the design of this. It's a little too ornate for me. But just the, you know, the fountains in general. I, I Central fountain would be nice at some point. We could always... Uh, oh, that's a pirate. You can see the skulls. Ooh. But yeah, we can take one of these and design stuff around it too if we want. That one's not too bad. That's kind of cool. Palace fountain, yeah. Actually, let's just type fountain. And then you can narrow it down and Palace Fountain. What's that? Ooh, that's so you can have like little water jets coming out. Yeah, I'd probably go with something s simple like this and maybe try to... Well, I'd design around the edges so you could not see the skulls, I guess. I don't know. So I think we've gone through all of that stuff. If we go to... It's not going to be under shops, right? There's nothing under other yet. Park entrances. There's nothing there yet. Ticket booths. I don't know why. I guess that's just uh, they're preparing for the future. Unless... Hmm. Bank. These are things I'm going to... I'm. This is like... This doesn't quite fit, right? This is the pirate ATM. This is what was this one? The Caribbean? 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 How do you say how is it actually supposed to be said? Caribbean? Caribbean? Um I'm gonna have to make my own assets, basically. So you know we can go to custom. It's entertainment point. Ooh. First aid. Let's see where the ATM one is. ATM. Yeah, so we can make our own own stuff and build around it. Park entrance gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Ticket booth. Wait, what was that? Tiki Cheeky. Street Fox Coffee. Yo. Yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar we're going to have some Street Fox Coffee. Looney Bloons. Yeah, we'll have all of this stuff. There's actually quite a few more. Just a memento. Is that like photos or something? Or or souvenirs? Mexalente. I imagine that's uh, Mexican food. I'll see your frites. Hot dog squad. Squad up, boys. Dan using hot dogs. Uh, hats fantastic. Gulpy slush. Gulpy energy. First aid. Cosmic cow. Oh, yes. Chief beef. And then, uh, yeah, the restrooms as well. So all I, I would like to do as much of the buildings are going to be, um, you know, I'm going to make my own custom ones. I'm going to save them as blueprints. And what I will do for anything that I, I custom design, I, I'll upload it to uh, Steam so you guys can use. Um, and as well, hey, if you design some cool stuff and uh, you think it might fit thematically with what we've got. Again, it's kind of maybe hard to tell thematically until we get some other stuff going. But you might be like, hey, this might work in Fox's uh, Planet Coaster creative series. I'll let them know about it in the comments. Uh, I'm down for that. Or if you tweet it at me. Um, or you might even make something in particular. You might, you might be like, I really want to make something for Fox. And if I like it, I might be like, I really like it. And this this does work. And I might use it. I can't make any guarantees. I, I, I can't do that. But you know what? I think it'd be cool. Okay, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? You know what's one thing I don't quite like is... the terrain you can't do this material in just like a large you know what if I wanted to make all of this cobblestone 
Is there, there's, I don't think there's a way to do that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, wrong grass. Th I think that's, that's maybe like the biggest bummer for me right now. I was going to say the biggest boner, but, uh, the biggest bummer that, and I would love waterfalls. I, ho I really hope that that's something that they add. Um, and maybe, like, to do this, maybe you have to, if they had it so you had to set up a grid or something. Because I can understand how just painting it doesn't quite work. But having a grid, and then that way, if they design it, it's like a, squ a square texture that's repeatable. You know, just like how they do with grass. Well, I guess technically you could paint it, and then it just maybe gets clipped off at the edges. But that is something I really want. So, I hope we get that. Anyways. It looks like... Let me just see. Because I've never actually built custom... Uh, these are my blueprints. Oh, these are Northern Lions blueprints. I might have to unsubscribe after a while. After, you know, I've, I've featured them. Oh, yeah, so I don't want to go in there. What do I, I want to go to shops and facilities? I don't even want to do that. I want to go to... S Here we go. Here we go. The building assets. Hot dogs and the french fries. Let's go to walls. Wait, let's... We got walls, we got roofs, we got doors and windows... Decorations, wall signs. So walls, let's see. Oh, arches. This is what I'm talking about. This is it. Why is my keyboard's like being a ding dong? Maybe the batteries are starting to... Ah, uh, yeah. The, it's usually the WASD when the batteries start to get low or something. All right. I apologize. That, no. I don't think I'm going to want any of the castle stuff because, you know, this is not a castle place. But most of this is going to be hidden. Oh, see, even my Z key there. Yeah. Batteries be dying. But it's just good to good to see what's available. So we've got this glass that's a little too high techy. Lime plaster. Ah! It's a bit too. I like that for uh, like a Mediterranean kind of Caribbean sort of uh, vibe for sure. I really do like the look of that, but it doesn't fit here. Metal alloy. I mean, yeah. Modern brick square arch. Okay, okay. What about modern? This is modern wood. It's done up in an interesting design. Half arch. Natural, oh, okay, this is a little maybe too westerny or like a mine town, but it's, it's close. I, this might be okay though. I might actually go with this. So this is the natural wood. What's this one? Painted wood, you know, so that's basically not too dissimilar, but it's, it's painted. That one's kind of nice too, but I don't want painted wood, honestly. I'd, I want the natural soap. I think this is going to be our last uh, thing we do in this episode, is is kind of try and figure out this archway. At least get it started, and then we can continue it in the next episode. Rough brick. You know, I don't mind that, but again... I'm not sure. Yeah, concrete doesn't work. Sandstone. Nah. Stucco, definitely not, but let's just look at it. Yeah. Stucco is a no-go. Oh, there's quite a bit of stucco. So I think... We do this, guys. So this is the... Let's just place these so I can, I can kind of get a full... So we're on a grid, too, which is cool. It automatically does the grid. Let's just space them out, though. What's that one? 
Square. Natural wood plank square arch. Natural wood batten square arch. Oh, I can see. Uh, it's it's like a vertical versus horizontal. I see. And then there's the the half. You know what? I kind of, I kind of like this one, uh, with the the lighter wood. I feel it contrasts just a bit more with the reddish hues of this wood of the actual arch part. And um, um, yeah, I like that. I think I, you know, I can always come back and and go to this one, but. I think that's the one. Let's see. Wait. So I've actually got to change this. Let's move it. Rotate. Wait. What the heck? Um, this is proving to be a little bit tricky. Oh, my Z just wasn't working. Oh, okay. So, I guess if we just place the first one. And then we can always do... Let's see here. Okay, go back to it. Why is this being a ding dong? Add to a building. Oh, wait, so is this a building? Edit building. There, now we have a grid. Okay, I need a sip of my drink. Let's get another one. So basically, we're... Do we do this maybe... Um, every square... You know, only... Because it's, it's kind of like a support as well, I feel, throughout this tunnel. So maybe... Let's see, what is this? We want the walls now. It's columns. We don't need those. Oh, wait. Framework. Wood. Nah, we don't want that. Wall decorations. Fiberglass, you know. We got some pretty interesting stuff. Wall bracket. But no, I don't want that. Just wall pieces. Which I suppose we could probably use as, as ceiling. Modern. It wasn't modern, wasn't it? Like natural. Yeah. Let's just go to natural. Oh boy. They got a lot of stuff. It wasn't that natural. It's not. It's. There we go. Plank. Do we get larger ones? I want to rotate this. I don't want to stack it. I want to rotate. So let's... Uh, you can go away. Zed. No, but like... Do you want to rotate, maybe? Can I not rotate it? That can't be right. Okay. 
Oh boy. Let's see here. We'll edit. Plank. Where the plank at? Oh, I gotta search again. Natural. Plank. Let's go back down here. Unless there's a a roof section. I don't think there is. Okay, how about we just place it and then I click on it. Move. Hmm. There's got to be a way to do a roof. Let's see. See, okay, now I can do this. Angle snap, yeah. Let's press X again. Yo, they're not letting me rotate this the way I want. This changes everything. Well, how are you supposed to make a freaking... Oh my god. Oh, there are no... What? There are no roofs. Hmm. Oh, wait. Never mind. But even still... Those aren't the roofs I want. These aren't the droids you're looking for. All signs, walls. Are there no... F how do you do floors? I don't know. Alright, well, you know what? I'm actually going to... Um, call it on this episode because I feel like a little bit of a, a weenie um, as I try to figure this stuff out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look though. I'm not gonna build anything, but I'm, I'm gonna definitely fool around because I've never spent any time doing custom buildings and stuff like that. So I want to feel a little more comfortable with it and kind of know exactly how I can, I can do that stuff before we, we get working. But basically, you know, I would like to kind of have a wooden sort of roof archway through here. If all else fails, then we'll just naturalize this a bit, get a few lights in there, and uh, we'll do the do the have the pathway that actually goes through there. So we might need to make this a bit wider. I can almost certainly guarantee. Um, but that wouldn't be the the end of the world having it that way either. But now I'm just, I'm basically, I'm curious. It's like, well, what if I didn't want it natural? What if I want walls and a nice roof and, and all that other stuff? I guess, yeah, maybe if they're... Can you seriously not do wood flooring? Building. Custom. Walls, roofs. Decoration. Flags. Decorations. Lights, misc. And you wouldn't find find floors in misc. All pieces, arches, framework. Let me just try one thing. Yeah, I can't. I can rotate it like that. I can move it any which way. I can move it up. So I actually need to use a roof section. But then if I place that... How do you get it to, uh, you know, grid size? That's fine. Grid height doesn't matter. You know, what if I wanted them exactly side by side? How are you supposed to do that?
There's something funky going on here. Now I've got to see. Maybe we just don't add it to, to building? Do it, If I have to manually place it like this, though, that's kind of messed up, right? I can see that little line there. I don't like that very much. Like, is that not messed up? Having to do it that way? Actually, it doesn't even really repeat. I guess it does. If we get close enough here. That is painful. Oh, Yve. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna fool around though, and uh, and uh, figure this stuff out because I've been having so much fun with the terraforming in the in the past and the roller coasters and stuff. I've never really ventured into 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 making buildings and such. But that's going to be a big thing. It's going to be very important to kind of keep with what I want for this world. Okay. Well, either way, I'm glad the pathway, I feel like we've made some good progress on that. We'll get it cleaned up. And then the thing is, the way I'm going to be working with these, uh, this theme park too, is I might start a project, flesh it out, you know, decide how I'm going to finish it, but then go and do something else for a while and then come back just to mix things up a little bit as well right so we're definitely going to finish this up but we might not start with that next episode we're going to be bouncing around with a lot of stuff and uh i think for me as a as a player it's gonna give me more ideas in general and uh and just uh for for possibly you guys as viewers to be like you know something else to look at um Rather than spending three hours straight working on the stairs, we can spend an hour and a half and then, uh, you know, do something else for a bit. But I'm, I am genuinely, I'm happy with kind of how this is turning out. And it's only, only, I, I, you know, I can't even say 50% of the way. It's probably like 25 or maybe 30% of the way. We've still got to get all the rocks, the bushes, the lighting, the benches, and uh, terraforming a bit more around to get it exactly how we want it but it's a good start it's a good foundation and I'm, I'm happy we've kind of figured it out a little bit so that's gonna do it for this episode i think ladies and gentlemen i need to uh give my voice a little bit of a rest and uh gotta go potty <laughs> maybe some of you have to do the same um you know give your voice a rest because you've been yelling at me for being a dummy with these buildings and whatnot but part of the, lear the learning process and now i'm kind of i'm uh I'm uh, motivated to learn and figure out exactly how we can get those buildings to work effectively, efficiently, and, and all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, um, you know, maybe hit that like button. But that's going to do it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.